In this video, we will discuss Lagrange's equation for non-homonomic constant. We know that the system is said to be non-holonomic if it corresponds to non-integrable differential equations. of constraint such types of constraints cannot be expressed in the form of equations of the type FL QJ T equal to 0 L equal to 1, 2, 3 up to M they are M equations The system is said to be non-holonomic if it corresponds to non-integrable differential equations of constraint and this constraint cannot be expressed in the form of expressions of the type FL QJT equal to 0 where L represents the number of constraints. Hence, such constraints are called as non-holonomic constraints. Clearly, holonomic system has integrable differential equations. Clearly, holonomic system has integrable differential equations of the constraints which can be expressed in the form of equation Now, we shall consider non-integrable differential constraint differential constraint of the type sum over k equal to 1 to m 1 to n a l k q d q k plus a l t d t equal to 0 we will consider these types of constraints 
which are non integrable differential equations where alk and alt are functions of qj and t these types of constraints are holonomic only if an integrating factor can be found that turns it into an exact differential equation and hence the constraint can be reduced to the form of equation However, the equation two cannot be integrated and. no one can find an indicating factor hence the constraint cannot be reduced to the form of equation one and hence these types of constraints are non holonomic now we shall prove a theorem statement of the theorem is the method of lagrange is undetermined multipliers explain the method of lagrange's undetermined multipliers
टू कंस्ट्रक्ट इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन ऑफ द सिस्टम विथ नॉन होलोनॉमिक कंस्टेंट Here, we have to explain the method of Lagrange's undetermined multipliers to construct the equation of motion of system with non-holonomic constraint. For that purpose, we consider a conservative non-holonomic system. We consider a conservative non-holonomic. system where the equations of non holonomic constraint are given by sum over i from 1 to m 1 to n a l k d q k plus a l t d t equal to 0 equation 1 where a l k and a l t are functions of Q J and T. Since these constraints are non-holonomic, equation 1 cannot be used to eliminate the dependent coordinates and hence all the generalized coordinates are not independent all the generalized coordinates are not independent but are related by constraint relation but they are related by constraint motion or constraint relation in the hamilton principle the time for each path is held fixed that is nothing but delta t equal to 0 hence the virtual displacement delta q k must satisfy 
द रिलेशन और द कंस्टेंट इक्वेशन सम ओवर के इक्वल टू वन टू एन ए एल के डेल्टा क्यू के इक्वल टू जीरो एल इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू थ्री अप टू एम दिस इक्वेशन सेकेंड वी कैन यूज दिज यम इक्वेशन्स in two to eliminate the dependent virtual displacement to n minus 1 independent One by the vector of Lagrange multipliers. Hence, we multiply. equations in two by lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 so on lambda m respectively and summing over l and then integrating it between the limits t0 to t1 we get integration t0 to t1 of sum l equal to 1 to m over sum k equal to 1 to n of lambda l a l k delta q k dt equal to 0 this is equation 3 we know that the hamilton principle is assumed to hold for non holonomic system therefore integral from t0 to t1 of delta l dt equal to 0 this implies that integration from t0 to t1 sum from k equal to 1 to n of do l by do q k minus d by dt of do l by do q k dot into delta q k dt equal to 0 this is equation 4 adding equation 3 and 4 we get integral from t0 to t1 of 
sum from k equal to 1 to n of do l by do q k minus d by dt of do l by do q k dot plus sum l equal to 1 to m lambda l a l k delta q k into dt equal to 0 this is equation 5 we note that all the virtual displacements delta q k k equal to 1 2 up to n are not independent but they are connected by m equations in 2 Now we eliminate the extra dependent virtual displacement, the extra dependent virtual displacement. We choose the multipliers lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, so on lambda m such that the coefficient of m dependent virtual displacement in equation five are zero. That means do L by do Q K minus D by D T of do L by do Q K dot plus sigma L equal to one to M lambda L A L K equal to 0 for k equal to n minus m minus 1 up to n minus 1 to n. This is equation 7. Hence from equation 7, 6, this is equation 6. Hence from equation 6 we have integration from t0 to t1 of sum k from 1 to m minus 1 n minus m of do L by do Q K minus D by D T of do L by do Q K dot plus some K equal to 1 L equal to 1 to M of lambda L A L K delta Q K into dt equal to 0. This is equation 7. Where delta q1 
डेल्टा क्यू टू डेल्टा क्यू एन माइनस यम आर ऑल इंडिपेंडेंट एंड हिंस वी गेट डो एल बाय डो क्यू के माइनस डी बाय डी टी ऑफ डो एल बाय डो क्यू के डॉट प्लस एल इक्वल टू वन टू यम सम ऑफ लैमडा एल ए एल के इक्वल टू जीरो वेर के इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू थ्री अप टू एन माइनस यम दिस इज इक्वेशन एट कंबाइनिंग द इक्वेशन सेवन एंड एट we have complete set of lagrange equation of motion of non holonomic system that is d by dt of do l by do q k dot do l by do q k dot minus do l by do q k equal to sum l equal to 1 to m lambda l a l k k equal to वन टू थ्री अप टू एन माइनस एम फर्दर टू एन दिस इज इक्वेशन नाइन दिस इज द कंप्लीट सेट ऑफ लैग्रंगेज इक्वेशन ऑफ मल्टीप्लायर्स इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन दिस इज द कंप्लीट सेट ऑफ लैग्रंगेज इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर नॉन होलोमिंग सिस्टम दिस प्रूव द दिस इज द कंप्लीट मेथड ऑफ Lagrange's multipliers. Thank you.